we have added several new overlays to Digimap for Schools. We think these will be really useful and have lots of potential for exploring human and physical geography, as well as global climate. Let's have a look. To open the Overlays menu, just select it from the sidebar. We have reorganised the menu. There's a section for overlays that only cover Great Britain, then World Climate, World Human Geography, World Physical Geography and the Reference Grids, where you will find Latitude and Longitude, Major Lines of Latitude and British National Grid. To view any layer, just check the box next to it. In our World Climate Overlays, we've added Temperature and Precipitation Averages. There are historical data and projected data, so these are really valuable for discussion on climate change. You could view the key to each overlay underneath it, as well as adjust the transparency of it with this slider bar. We've added population density to our World Human Geography overlays, so that you can visualise the number of people per square kilometre. This overlay offers lots of opportunities for considering where and how people live. For example, what geographical features affect where people live, and whether the density of population is affected by housing types in different areas of the world. Pupils could measure country area or research total populations and compare it with the population density, e.g. consider the USA against Germany. It could be helpful when viewing population density to switch to the world boundaries map to see the country names more clearly. You'll also find our time zones overlay here, as well as world place names. The place names are really useful in looking at our country level detail maps where place names may be written in different languages. New physical geography overlays include volcanoes, tectonic plates and mountain ranges. Lots to explore and we're really excited about the potential this offers for embedding locational knowledge and meeting curricular expectations and learning outcomes. Get feature info can be used on two of the overlays, world biomes and volcanoes. Just select the get feature info button and then select the location on the map you're interested in. An information box pops up. You can view more than one overlay at a time. You could, for example, view population density along with biomes to illustrate lower population density in areas of tundra or desert. Or you could try population density with mountain ranges to show how physical geography can influence settlement and migration. I hope that introduction has been useful. We'd love to know what you think of the overlays and how you use them in lessons.